Let's solve this one. I'm going to assume that you've read the question. I'm going to go directly to the solution. Uh, it's a wonderful question, but it's practically just a logical reasoning question. There is very little from the mathematical framework here. Right? Average student in a class of 10 students is 60. So total marks of all 10 is 600. This much we know straight away. The score five are not considered. The average score of the remaining students falls by five. So total of bottom five. The bottom five. The top five are not considered. Average falls by five. So the average of the bottom five would be 55. The total would be 55 into five. So this is 55 into five, 270. The pass mark was 40 and the maximum mark was 100. So minimum is 40, maximum is 100. It is known that none of the students failed. So everybody has scored at least 40 or more. If each of the top five scores had distinct integral scores, the maximum possible score of the topper is dash. That's what we need to find. It's a good question. The first two inferences are very clear. Top 10, all 10 add up to 600. Bottom five add up to 275. So you can straight away say, Top five add up to Let's say the top five are A, B, C, D, E, with A less than, B less than, C less than, D less than, E. So we've been told that they're distinct integral scores. And we want to now find maximum value of E. E should be maximum, as high as possible. And that's what we're trying to do. Put simply, if E has to be I, and now I know that A plus B plus C plus D plus E, all five put together is 325. If E has to be maximum, A, B, C, D have to be minimum, have to be as low as possible. Now, think about it. They are the top five marks, A, B, C, D, E, that to be, of which second, third, fourth, fourth have to be as low as possible. But I cannot put all of them at 40, the minimum mark, because the bottom five have average 55. Right? The bottom five had average 55, they would have some marks which add up to an average of to give an average of 55. So my A, B, C, D should all be the highest of the bottom five that I need to keep in mind. Right? So the first thing to consider is what would be the highest possible value. Of the bottom five, the average is 55. If there is one value below 55, then there will be one value above 55. And so, every time we have a value below 55, there will be something above 55 to compensate for it. And so, in, if you had to have the highest value as low as best case scenario would be if the bottom five were all 55. So, all five bottom scores equal to 55. Now this is possible. Remember that all of the top five scores had to be distinct. We are not telling us that all scores are distinct. Keep that in mind. So the bottom five can all be same. They can all be 55. If they were all 55, then the least of the top five could also be. And then we go step by step from there. So A could be 55. The least value B can take could be 56, 57, 58. And then E. Now all five add up to 325. We have assumed values 55, 56, 57, 58. Let's do this. 55 plus 56 plus 57 plus 58. 15, 20, 26, 62. This adds up to 226. The total is 325. From that, we subtract 2. We get 99. The maximum value possible for E is 90. And that scenario would be achieved when the scores are 55. 55, 55, 55, 55 for the bottom 5, and 55, 56, 57, 58 for the next 4, and then 99 for P. All conditions are satisfied, nobody below 40, nobody above 100, and the bottom 5 all less than the top 5, average of the bottom 5 being 55. So this is more or less like a puzzle. How do I make inferences to make one number maximum, lower, lesser, all of that? And wonderful question, answer choice would be choice.